there it goes. <laughs> this thing is a tiny, unpredictable monster. <laughs> I'm Abby, and I have bitten my nails for my entire life. <laughs> I've tried sitting on my hands, wearing that gross bitter nail polish, fake nails, dating a boy who cared about what my nails looked like. That didn't work. I've tried everything. So I'm gonna try wearing this Pavlov 2 bracelet to shock myself into giving up nail biting. I'm hoping that this will at least decrease the rate in which I bite my nails, if not stop it completely. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, it looks like a Fitbit. Add a habit, we want to stop nail biting. And so I can set it to vibrate every time I lift my hand to my mouth or beep or zap me. I should probably make it zap me, right? Because that's why we're doing this. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> yep, when my finger goes to my mouth, it's gonna zap me. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna do this for the next two weeks. It's day one of wearing the Pavlok 2. Uh, there it goes, it's very excited to see me. I really, really wanna bite my nails right now. But I also don't wanna be electrocuted. So I guess this is a pretty good deterrent to take it off because for two days in a row I have shocked myself putting on my sunglasses. How'd your first week go? Bad. Unfair. <laughs> but I haven't bitten my nails, which is actually very impressive. I just don't know how much credit I would give the bracelet. I never got used to it. It was an electric shock <laughs> every time I was doing something. I got shocked probably 10 times as many times for things that weren't biting my nails than were because it, it just can't tell the difference between when I'm touching my mouth and when I'm just having my hands at a vertical angle. So there's a digital manual for this thing, but I might be old, I guess. I need my paper manual so that I can flip through it, really touch it, feel it, learn it. Um, so I haven't accessed that. So I have no idea how to troubleshoot some of the glitches that I'm seeing, and I especially don't know what the safety concerns for this guy are. I really want to get the friend remote working because one of the things I was excited about with this wearable was uh, other people holding me accountable. I had a few coworkers try this on. Oh! Oh no! Oh, I didn't care for that at all! <laughs> The shock count is automatic, but the times you bite your nails count and the times you feel like you're going to bite your nails count, you have to manually input yourself. And I don't want to do that. I'm a little lazy, I don't have time. And then the automatic one is also counting all the times that it shocks me for no reason. So it's a little inaccurate. I don't really have a need for that part of the app. After we started this experiment, I saw an ad on Facebook saying that this thing will break a habit in one week I'm still pretty focused on my fingers. I am very aware that I want to bite them. So I don't think my habit's broken yet. Honestly, this thing is just reminding me that you don't want to bite your nails. You shouldn't do that. You're trying to break this habit. And so every time I feel it on my wrist, electrocuted or not, I am aware that I shouldn't do this. So I, 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 I don't think we need to shock ourselves. <laughs> No more electricity in my body. We're done. I don't think I used it right, but I used it successfully because I have fingernails. But I don't think my brain was rewired as the product promises. I think it was probably user error. There's meditation involved. There's like accountability activities which are just like writing down the negatives and positives of doing your habit. I don't need to do that. It should just be easier. I don't think I would buy this. I don't think it's worth a purchase. It did work, but I don't know how much credit I can give to the actual device uh, as much as I can give to just having a reminder at all. So I would just go to Michael's and buy